Sorry, I praise the Lord for us. Thank you. My name is Apostle Joe Peter Corridi. I came in to the studio this morning to, you know, to pray seriously with people. Is 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 my heart bleeds, and I really want to pray because there is this um, current ongoing, um, you know, um, trend in the body of Christ of late marriage. A lot of single sisters, single brothers out there who are due for marriages there's nobody coming out now i can tell you this for every man of god that really has the burden of his people at heart there are two things that hurt them so much there are two things that is important to them the first one is delay marriage and then number two is barrenness when they for the of course there's nothing comparing in the kingdom the waiting system so to say is it really a, is a matter but today we're going to be addressing um um, V3 over marital delay by God's grace. Who, of course, in Revival City Christian Network is our month of um, um, marriages, and then we've been teaching on marriage. So today, I want to teach on the secret of marital delay. First and foremost, you need to understand that marriage is God's plan. It is God's plan. Have you ever sat down to imagine why didn't God create everybody in a day? God has the power to create everybody in a day. But one of the ways that God used a vehicle through which God used to continue creation was the vehicle of marriage. So marriage is more than we know. Marriage is a system of God to continue creation. So even Satan understands. So if there is any glorious child that is to come into the world, for there's no child that came into this world without a purpose. And every child that you ever see in the earth today, they were a child that came into being as a result of prayer. Somebody requested for them. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, before he came, two people, a man and a woman were praying, and a physical man and woman got married for just to come. Anna, Anna and Simeon went the temple praying for good several years for Jesus to come. Now you must understand so marriage is a system of God for God to what to extend and continue creation. So it becomes something of attack. It becomes and there are people that God have specially designed to bring forth seed that is going to be light and mighty influence on the earth and Satan in a way has been able to see that marriage is a system for God to advance his course of creation on earth and for God to advance a specific mandate per time in our season so therefore Satan is seriously attacking marriages and that is one reason why there is serious delay when it comes to marital issue a woman that is designed to give birth to a destiny child will definitely see serious serious and several attack but I came to have a good news for you today that today by the special grace of God something mighty is about to happen that yoke is about to be broken now look at it now the Bible says one shall chase one thousand two shall chase three thousand can you see now so when you are happily married with your husband that means your strength in the realm of the spirit is equivalent to chasing ten thousand people nobody wants that and that's one major reason why Satan does not even want Christian brother to get it right in marriage Satan does not even want Christian brother to even come together at first of think of marriage now look at this now in the Bible the Bible speaking in the book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 12 it says hope deferred make the heart sick hope deferred make the heart sick what does that mean you know on a yearly basis a lot of our sisters a lot of our brothers they hoped they've been hoping and hoping on God for several years Lord when am I going to get married this year I know I trust God I'm going to get married 2002 when 2003 when 2004 went and now they already hitting 40 and yet there's no suit or coming around there as a result of this continual open and yet everything is not bringing forth light a lot of people are sick in their heart they've lost the zeal they've lost passion the fervency and aggressiveness that they used to chase god all of this has fade out as a result of their hope not bringing forth at the end a lot of people have been discouraged their service to god has declined their commitment to god has declined their dedication and devotion to god is zero you know there's a way they used to act before even in the church you can see it this is a they are glaring everything is a byproduct of hope that was defied as such they act as the sick and that is one thing that satan is said to achieve to frustrate people to make people feel bad to make people feel you know bitter and that's why it's seriously attacking people keeping them to be single for several years the bible also told us the bible was speaking in the book of the Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 1 he said for how long will you continue to revolve around this mountain god said turn 
around and move forward. You know, God is saying, turn around. God is simply saying, you need to turn and enter into a season of aggressive prayer. You need to pray your way through. Why is this thing not coming forward? There is a resistance somewhere. There is something resisting this marriage from comfort. And God is saying, you need to turn around. You've stayed along for this mountain for so long. Meaning you've been single for so long. It is time for you to enter into a season of aggressive prayer. The Bible told us in Matthew 25, about the 10th virgin. The Bible says, why they are the Savior? The Savior wasn't coming forth. They were discouraged, you know, and they slumbered. Meaning, a lot of sisters have been praying, waiting for Jesus to enter into their marital situation, to enter into their marital destiny and settle things and revolve things. And it's as though as if nothing is happening. And a lot of them, they've slumbered. They've gone back to the world. Sisters that used to be on fire, now they, they, now they are beginning to put on clothes. They are going a, a sadistic way, all of this, in to look for some Somebody that will end with them. When you even read their chart and you see their post, it is full of regrets, you know, pain and bitterness, and all of this is a matter to us. Beloved, this morning, I have a word for you from the Lord. That that chain, that resistance, that delay is about to be broken now. Look at this now. There are 70 reasons why people are delayed in marriage. But I'm going to highlight five. Number one reason why people are delayed in marriage is because of inherited battles. Pattern. There are families with pattern that a lot of people really don't know about. The pattern that is trending, moving, calling. We call it in deliverance, we call it collective battles. Collective battles that fight these people. Nobody gets married and all of them. That's the first reason. There's a need for you to break that bond, to break that oppression in your family, and that can only be achieved in place of aggressive prayers. Number two things that causes delay in marriage is what I thought blindness. One reason why there's delay. Number two reason for delay in marriage is blindness. A lot of spiritual blindness. A lot of sisters, they've missed their husband in their uh, you know, trying to bring in human sense in their choice of you know, um, suitor. A lot of people have missed their real husband. They are spiritually blind. They cannot see. They cannot see God's will for their life. As such, they've sent their husband away by themselves. And now by themselves it has become a matter and a problem that nobody's coming forth. Nobody's looking around there. And now they are seriously prayed. Number three reason that causes delay in marriage is what I call firstborn battle. A lot of cons- Consequency that our father have done as a result of their rough living and all is 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 now is now telling on on the first child and all of this it become because the first child is like the touch of the family. All of these are things that cause serious delay in marriage. I wouldn't want to take much of our time, but I'm going to be releasing three prayer points you need to pray. Number one prayer point you need to pray very very aggressively. If you can fast, you can fast. If you can pray, you need to pray. Number one, you say, Father, every arrow of delay that has been fired into my marital destiny today, let them backfire by fire. Every chain of stagnancy that is owing me down in one spot, refusing me from progressing into marriage, let it be destroyed today. In the name of Jesus. And then lastly, you're going to pray. You're going to declare loudly. Every man that says I will never settle down in marriage as long as they are alive, Lord, arise and fight for me. And I know as you take this prayer serious, God is going to enter your battle. God is going to fight for you seriously. One other number, fourth reason that causes you know marital delay is evil mark, evil mark. The enemy can put mark on you that everywhere you go, people will just be they will just be despising you. You see, one of the ways you know that there's an evil mark on you, everybody that comes around you just want to have carnal knowledge with you, they want to you know have their way with you and then abandon you. You see, when there's evil mark, you'll be suffering multiple disappointments. They will come around you, but they will never marry you. All they just want is just to get down with you and then let you go. Everything is a byproduct that there's a mark. I pray for you today. Every demonic mark that has been placed upon you, they will be erased by the blood of Jesus. Another one is the spirit wife spirit husband spirit wife spirit husband see when you have spirit wife spirit husband when you have an allegiance to them you see it will become very difficult to get married here physically because when anybody proposes to you your spirit husband will go forth and threaten the people 
Number one, they attack their finance. Number two, they attack their life. If those people are not prayerful, they can die and go. So all of these are things you must take very serious. Uh, can we just say a word of prayer this morning together? I decree by the mandate of God upon my life. Everywhere you've suffered maritally, I decree the hand of God that is upon me. Let it rest upon your marital life. May God restore your marital life. In the name of Jesus, whatever arrow that has been fired into your marital destiny, they are coming out today by fire. In the name of Jesus, very soon we shall come to celebrate with you. Maybe you want me to pray with you. You want um, to have a prayer section with me. You want to have prayer vision with me. I'm always open. You can just reach me out on this number 08036966406. We have lots of testimonies. A lot of our, cop, our, our brethren are getting married here to the glory of God. All were born out of place of prayer. That chain shall be broken. I see you next. You are next in line for marital marriage. In the name of Jesus. Shalom. God bless you.